Oh, hey guys, welcome to another edition of Motivational Monday. And this Motivational Monday is one series out of a seven part episode of Motivational Monday. And we're gonna be talking about the seven agreements. And the first agreement is the ability to act from personal power. So this is the first part of a seven part series of the seven agreements. And I am hoping that through these series, uh, through this seven agreements, that something will spark in you. Even through this episode, through this first episode, I'm believing that it will spark something in you to empower your dreams and to go after your dreams, that you have the ability to create the world that you want, right? And the first agreement is this, right? The ability to act out of personal power. And I launched the video probably like seven weeks ago on personal power. And what is personal power, right? The ability to act. We as human beings have this ability to act anywhere at any, any time, right? It's kind of like a, a, a light switch. We can flip it at any time. We don't analyze, oh, how do you turn this light on? No, we just turn it on, right? And I believe as human beings, we have that switch as well. Like at any time and anywhere, if we really truly believe in our dreams, truly believe in our passions, we could turn that light switch on right now, right? So we have this ability to act. We have this ability to act out of personal power, right? And But what stops us from acting out of personal power? What stops us from actually going after our dreams it's fear right it's the fear of failure uh, the number one thing is the fear of failure right but what if we can shift our mind shift our perspective and just take failure the word failure and just vanish it just take it out of your vocabulary take it out of your membrane what if you didn't have the ability to fail but to just create results create outcomes right in a sense um, out of anything we do there is a lesson learned from it right or results that come from it it may not be the results that you want but there's still a lesson within that um, human experience that we went through so what if we changed our perspective right and and commit today that there is no such thing as failures but outcomes what if we commit today that there is no such thing as failures but results Right? It will change the whole paradigm of how you go after your dreams and your passions, right? Or a career move that you're looking out, uh, looking for, or you're trying to get out of this slump of saying that, oh man, what is the meaning of life? Or you're getting tired of where you're at, right? What if in a flip of a light switch, you just go after your dreams, right? Right now, and just take a little action right now. What if there was no failure but outcomes? But there's no failure but results, right? And my study out of these highly successful people, right, like the Elon Musk, right, the Richard Branson, the Tony Robbins, right, or um, Michael Jordans or the Kobe Bryants and their work ethic and their main, their, their, how their mind works is they didn't believe in failure because if they did, they wouldn't be at the success they're at right now, right? For example, Federal Express, right? You all heard of Federal Express, right? His name is Fred Smith. And Fred Smith did this, right? Um, he, I think he went to Yale University in, a business, in, in his, the business program, and he believed in this idea that we can actually do overnight express, that we can actually take mail and ship it across the country overnight, right? So he did this report, and the professor just gave him a C minus. Why? Because he didn't believe in his idea. He thought it was ridiculous. He thought, the professor thought, that it will never happen. Why don't you just use the US mail service we have now? right and the rest is history right imagine if he took that c minus and all oh, and, and looked at that c that report and be like oh okay yeah i guess you're right professor no he looked at that that c minus report looked at what he can do better looked at that lesson and say what results do i want out of this what outcome do i want out of this so in his first shipment right he's he invested imagine he invested all of his money into this company all of his money into this belief that they it can actually happen a, a mail can actually be expressed overnight across the country so he invested all his money right and his first day of business Right, he was supposed to ship out 167 shipments, and you know how many actually shipped out seven, right? And five of them were to the same company, which is his company, Federal Express, and two of them actually went out, right? But you know what he looked at? He looked at the two 
the two males that actually went overnight and say, okay, how can I enhance this now? Right? How can I make this better? Two actually shipped out, how can I make it better? What results do I want? Right? I know it's a simple idea, right? But we have to change the perspective, right? And it's the common denominator out of these all of these successful people is they don't believe in failure. They don't have the belief of failing, but only results. They don't have the belief in failing, but only outcomes. Right? And I hope, I'm hoping that after hearing this, that you'll go out and actually take a step out of, out of faith, uh, of faith and Go after your dreams, right? Go after your passions right now. What if there was no failure, right? What would you do, right? What if you? What if all failures uh, were only just merely lessons and and results and outcomes, right? Take failure out of your vocabulary, and you'll see the the, the results that you want out of it. You'll see the outcomes that you want out of it. That simple. Taking failure out of your vocabulary will give you and will empower you to actually go out and go after your dreams. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this inspired you and ignited something in you. And have a great Monday. Have a great week. And I'll talk to you soon.